In this video we are going to see how to add a custom filter to a report in Zoho Creator. To create a custom filter we need a stateless form to let user mention some values. Let's see how to create a stateless form. To create a stateless form, first we need to duplicate an existing form. While duplicating, please make sure the data will be stored in Zoho Creator Options is unchecked. Let's remove the submit and reset options, as we no longer need those. Let's copy the form link name as we need it to embed this form in page. Click on the plus icon in the top to create a new blank page. Once the page is created, drag and drop a HTML snippet into the page to write custom HTML codes. To embed a form, drag and drop a form element, then paste the stateless form's link name. To embed a report drag and drop a report element from the left sidebar. To mention the report link name you can get the report link name from the report's URL. To pass the filter criteria, let's create a page URL parameter. Let's call it as parameter date. Using this parameter you can pass dynamic values to this page through the page URL. Let's pass the filter criteria to the report through the parameter attribute. In this way we can use a deluge variable inside a HTML code. Let's duplicate this line to add one more report. To avoid errors let's add a validation. If no value is passed through the URL parameter, then set it as current date. So that, when first time user opens this page, I will show the current date data by default. Now it shows the current date data by default. To change the date, we need to add workflow in the stateless form. Let's add a workflow that will open the page 
with dynamic value passed through the page URL whenever the value in the form is changed. Here is the final output. Now the page shows the data based on the date mentioned. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos.